Opening Prayers, Prayer 1 Thanksgiving Blessing, O Lord, we thank you for this earth, our home, for the wide sky and the blessed sun, for the ocean and streams, for the towering hill and the whispering wind, for the trees and green grass. We thank you for our senses by which we hear the songs of birds and see the splendor of fields of golden wheat, and taste autumn's fruit, rejoice in the feel of snow, and smell the breath of spring flowers. Grant us a heart opened wide to all this beauty, and save us from being so blind that we pass unseen when even the common thorn bush is aflame with your glory. For each new dawn is filled with infinite possibilities for new beginnings and new discoveries. Life is constantly changing and renewing itself. In this new day of new beginnings with God, all things are possible. We are restored and renewed in a joyous awakening to the wonder that our lives are and yet can be. Amen. Prayer 2 Prayer of Gratitude Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you have bestowed on my life. You have provided me with more than I could ever have imagined. You have surrounded me with people who always look out for me. You have given me family and friends who bless me every day with kind words and actions. They lift me up in ways that keep my eyes focused on you and make my spirit soar. Also, thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. You protect me from those things that seem to haunt others. You help me make better choices and provide me with advices to help me with life's difficult decisions. You speak to me in so many ways so that I always know you are here. And Lord, I am so grateful for keeping those around me safe and loved. I hope that you provide me with the ability and sense to show them every day how much they matter. I hope that you give me the ability to give to them the same kindness they have provided to me. I am extremely grateful for all of your blessings in my life, Lord. I pray that you remind me of just how blessed I am and that you never allow me to forget to show my gratitude in prayer and return acts of kindness. Lord's Prayer Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Day 1 Day 1 Scriptures for Meditation Hebrews 12 verse 1 Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Ecclesiastes 7, 8 Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Zechariah 4, from verse 6 to 9 then he answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Teachers, heroes who sometimes go and sang. The call of a teacher. Teachers are entrusted with a great vocation. The education of our young people. They are called to witness Christ the teacher not only through their words, but also through their actions, modeling him and his saints throughout the day. Pope Benedict XVI, in his 2010 address to teachers and religious, said that the task of a teacher is not simply to impart information or to provide training in skills intended to deliver some economic benefit to society. Education is not and must never be considered as purely utilitarian. It is about forming the human person, equipping him or her to live life to the full. In short, it is about imparting wisdom. And true wisdom is inseparable from knowledge of the Creator, for both we and our words are in His hand. Us are all understanding and skill in crafts. Wisdom 7.16 Prayer for Teachers Almighty God, we come to you today and give thanks for all our teachers. Thank you for the way in which they give of themselves each day in the classroom, serving and instructing the next generation of this land. We thank you for them all now. Father, please fill their hearts with courage now by your mighty spirit. Fill them with your strength, 
so they may rise to every challenge and not grow weary. Fill them with your wisdom, so that they may be able to make good judgment when guiding and helping others. Fill them with your peace, so that when stress and anxiety come, it will not overwhelm them. Fill them with your joy, so that the passion they have for their subject may become an infectious passion that spreads. We ask all this in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Litany of Fortitude for Teachers When I am beyond tired after the school day, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to repay SARS with snack, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to judge my students uncharitably, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to ignore the quieter students, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to avoid disciplining as I ought, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to avoid difficult yet formative conversations, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to not be emotionally attentive or avoid eye contact, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to be negative and not joyful, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to avoid reaching out to students who are struggling academically or emotionally, give me strength. Strength, o oh Jesus. When I am tempted to skip intercessory prayers for my students, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to drown out the Holy Spirit's inconvenient voice of direction, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to talk over their heads because it is easier, give me strength, O oh Jesus. When I am tempted to ignore the work it takes to effectively evangelize, give me strength, O oh Jesus. Lord, Teach me to see your face in each one of my students. Lord, teach me to learn from my students. Lord, teach me to love my students. Prayer of St. Ambrose Teach me, O Lord, to search for you. Show yourself to me when I search for you. If you do not teach me first, I cannot seek you. If you do not reveal yourself to me, I cannot find you. In longing, may I search for you. And in searching, long for you. In love may I find you, and in finding you, love you. Amen.